There are three main ways that one can solve a differential equation. One of them is analytically. An analytic solution to a differential equation is actually just getting out some paper, pen, and solving it and getting a closed form. So there's an analytic solution. There's also the numeric solution. The numeric solution is when we have a differential equation that maybe is too hard to analytically solve. So we plug it into a computer and we say, hey, computer, please solve this for us. The third method of solving differential equations, and I really shouldn't say solving, but more visualizing what a solution to a differential equation might look like, is what you may have guessed is the graphical solution. And that is what we're going to be talking about in this video. As you can see, I have this image here. This image is of something which is a type of graphical way of visualizing what a solution might look like. It is called a direction field. Direction field. And this is also like slope field is also a, w a word for it, the direction field. And what this says is at any given point, given your differential equation, what is dy dx. So let's say we had a differential equation dy dx equals and then some function of x and y. Well now let's say we wanted to find what the slope is here at the point 1 and 2. So let me see if I can a second. Sorry, I just had to switch the layers on these. So let's say we had it at the point. Oh, wait a minute. What? Okay, we have it now. So let's say I have it at the point 1 and 2, for example. So this is corresponding to, well, approximately this line here, this little line segment. Well, what this line segment is then telling us is simply the dy dx of whatever function this slope field is of at 1, 2. And what's nice about this is we don't have to do any special math to figure out this slope. Because by definition, the differential equation is giving us dy dx as some function of, f of x and y. And dy dx, this is exactly the slope. By definition, the derivative is the slope. So what you can do is you can plot, you can plot this dy dx at every point, And you'll get something that looks like this. This is at every point what the slope of the differential equation they're talking about it is. Now, why is this useful? Well, it's because this representation gives a good intuition, a good visualization tool for how the solutions might flow. Because each of these line segments is a tangent line to any given solution curve. Not any, but a solution curve that goes through them is going to have to be tangent. What do I mean by this? Well, if we have any given solution curve, let's say a solution curve that looks something like this. What we know about this solution curve is that whenever it passes through one of these line segments, passes by it, it must be tangent. Because by definition of being a solution to this differential equation, it must satisfy the differential equation. And if it satisfies the differential equation, the dy dx of the solution must always be equal to this function over here. So the slope at any given point must also be equal to the function. So this is a really good tool then for visualizing your solutions, because I can start at any given point. Let's say I start here at a little more than negative 1 and maybe 1 half. Now I can just follow these lines to get what might be tangent to all of these line segments approximately and you can follow them up and we get something like, like this. But if I had started one, one more point down, maybe what I'd have found is that I had gone down much more and that I slipped down. And another thing that you might notice is that I wasn't exactly a tangent here. I, I went down where maybe I shouldn't have gone down here. Uh, I was going down more than I should have. Because you see, the what I'm talking about is this this line segment right here. The line segment looked like this, and well, like this. And my solution curve was going like this. You never want this. You always want your solution curve to be as close as possible tangent to your little line segment. 
So, now that we have this, we have a good tool for thinking about, well, what is any given solution going to look like, especially if you're given an initial value. So let's say we were given the initial value negative 2. Well, this is, again, not going to be too hard to do. All we have to do is follow the line segments, and we see we curve down. Let's say we're given the initial value of x equals 0, maybe x is time, and y is height or something weird, or mess. Maybe x equals 0, y equals 1.5. If we were given this, we know that we have to be going up, and we can draw our solution curve something like that, or maybe just to be more simple, just like that. Well, this is what a direction field looks like. In the next series of videos, I'm going to talk about different ways of constructing these fields. Because if there's one thing that you should remember, it is that going through on every point in R2 and calculating the slope is a slow and bad way of doing it. If you had a computer, maybe that would be better. But even so, let's say you wanted to do it from 0 to a million. How would you do that? Well, there are two methods that we're going to talk about in the next two videos, probably, called the method of isoclines and the phase line, which are useful tools for speeding up the process. See you then.